In this video, I'm going to show you how to do two things. I'm going to show you how to set up your system to have both Skyrim and Enderall installed at the same time, and I'm going to show you how to run and modify Enderall using Mod Organizer. There are actually two different ways to get both Skyrim and Enderall installed on the same system if you're using Mod Organizer. The first way is probably the simplest, and that is to actually have two separate installations of Skyrim. One for the normal Skyrim, and one for Enderall. This is the simplest solution, but it does come with a couple of drawbacks. The first one, of course, is it's taking twice as much space on your hard drive. The second one is it becomes a little more difficult to use Mod Organizer to modify both games because, well, when you link it to the Nexus site, it only links to one of the Mod Organizers. You can get around this, it's not the end of the world, but it can be a little annoying. The second way is to use the profiling feature in Mod Organizer and have a completely different profile on the same installation so that you only have one copy of the game. Doing this is a lot more complicated, but of course it comes with a few advantages. Just one installation of the game and one version of Mod Organizer to download and modify your game, whether that be Skyrim or Enderal. In this video, I'm going to focus on the first method, the simple method having two versions of Skyrim, one for the original game, and one for Enderal. Obviously, if we're going to have two versions of Skyrim on our system, we're going to need to create another copy of Skyrim. And there are a few ways to do this. The simplest is probably to go along to your Steam, Steam Apps Common Folder, find the Skyrim folder, right-click, copy, and paste. That will take a little time as it copies all the files across, and then you will end up with two versions of Skyrim. However, I don't recommend doing it this way because, well, there are two reasons. Firstly, you've probably got a lot of files in here that you do not want to copy. For example, Mod Organizer. That has a lot of mods installed that are just not appropriate to end it all. In my case, that's 20 gigabytes of files, and frankly, I, that's just too much space to waste. So I'm probably going to delete the Mod Organizer files. And in fact, I'm almost certainly going to delete Mod Organizer and install a fresh version just for Enderall. It's a little simpler than tweaking the ini files. The other thing is, I can't remember all of the things I've done to this installation of Skyrim over the years. And seeing as we're having two separate games, I feel more comfortable having a completely fresh and clean installation of Skyrim just for Enderal. The way I'm going to do this and the way I recommend for most of you is to simply rename the Skyrim folder. Again, it's in your Steam, Steam Apps Common folder, and I'm going to rename it to Skyrim Original. It doesn't matter what you rename it to, we're probably going to change it back later. Now, if I open up Steam Library and find the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, right click, go to Properties, Local Files, Verify Integrity of Game Cache. It will take a few seconds and it will realize there are a lot of files missing and it will then try to download them. It's going to take a little while, but once it's finished, you will have a completely fresh installation of Skyrim. Once it's finished, it is well worth going into the new Skyrim folder and just running the Skyrim launcher at least once, allowing it to detect your settings and then hitting play. Make sure the game is working before you go any further. Finally, go along to the new Skyrim folder and rename that to skyrim Enderal and take your original Skyrim folder and rename that back to Skyrim. I think I'm going to capitalize the S. Windows is case insensitive. So I now have my original Skyrim back where it was. I have Skyrim Enderall, which is a fresh installation. And just to be doubly sure, I'm actually going to run 
the mod organizer for my original Skyrim and make sure everything's working as it's supposed to. And that's it. I now have two versions of Skyrim, one modded with Mod Organizer and the other a completely fresh installation of Skyrim that I have marked Enderal. The next thing to do is make sure we have all of the files that we're going to need. You're going to need to go along to enderall.com, check out the system requirements and make sure you meet them. Also, make sure you have Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5 installed and then go to the installation package. Now this is a large file, it's almost eight gigabytes, and there are three ways to get it. You can either torrent it, you can get it from moddb.com, or you can get it from Nexus Mods. It will take a while, I'm not sure which is fastest, that's going to depend on your connection and where you are in the world, I guess. And you're also going to need to click on the button for launcher and download the Enderall launcher. This is a pretty small file, as you can see, 3.5 megabytes. And lastly, of course, we're going to need a new version of Mod Organizer. Now, you can copy your existing version across, as I have mentioned, but you will then need to go and edit quite a few ini files and make some changes. You'll have to delete a lot of profiles my honest opinion is a fresh installation is the best way to go. So I now have the files I need. I've got a copy of Mod Organizer, I've got the Enderall Launcher, and I do have the installation archive, although I've got that on a separate hard drive at the moment. It is very, very large. So first thing to do, open up Skyrim Enderall and simply cut the launcher and paste it into the Skyrim Enderall folder. You can also move the installation archive here as well if you wish. I'm not going to do that because I generally don't like large files cluttering up my games folders. And now I simply double click the Enderall launcher. It will open up a readme, which you should read and give me this installation window. Now on older versions of Enderall's launcher, it actually would move the launcher to the Skyrim folder registered to Steam. That does not happen anymore. Next, we click Install Enderall, and we get this warning telling us it's not a good idea to have ENB files installed. Now I've got a completely fresh Skyrim, which is great, but if you have copied it and you do have ENB files in your Enderall Skyrim folder, you might want to think about removing them. This game has totally new lighting, a totally new look and feel. Your ENB may not even be appropriate for this game. It is also a problem apparently with certain things like fade out. So I would actually take this relatively seriously, but of course that is up to you. Click on it to remove, read the terms of a license, and hit accept. Check the requirements. It is telling me my graphics card might be a problem, but I know it's not. So then I'm gonna hit install Enderall. And I now pick Enderall installation file. I'm not restoring, I am doing a fresh install. I need to tell it where it can find the installation archive. It defaults to in the games folder, but as I've already mentioned, I have kept mine somewhere else. Select it, hit next, and it is going to tell you it will be making a backup. You can change that if you want to save space on your SSD. I'm going to leave it where it is for now. Hit next, check the details are correct, and then start installation. The first thing it does is back up your original Skyrim files, and then it starts to install the files it's going to need for Enderall. This may take a few minutes. Once finished, hit close installation. However, you are not done yet. You are also going to need to hit update at least once. It will tell you there is an update and that you should download now. Do so, let it do its thing. Once finished, it will tell you the update was successful and it will restart the launcher once you click OK. And that is basically it. You now have Enderall installed. Again, I do recommend starting the game just to check everything is okay. Hit launch Enderall, and it should start up with a new background. 
The next thing to do is install the fresh version of Mod Organizer. Once again, I'm going to cut this file that I have downloaded and paste it into the game folder. And from there, just right click on that file and extract here. I'm assuming you've got something like WinRAR installed and you now have Mod Organizer copied. You can get rid of the archive now. Go into Mod Organizer and run modorganizer.exe. It will detect that I'm start starting Mod Organizer for the first time. I don't actually want a tutorial. It will then warn you that Mod Organizer is not set up to handle the Nexus downloads and ask you if you wish to do that. And you have an option yes or no, don't ask again. Now here is the thing. If you click yes, it will associate Skyrim downloads with this version of Mod Organizer, not the one you've got for Skyrim. This is one of the downsides to having two separate versions of Skyrim, each with its own Mod Organizer. When you download from Nexus, it will automatically open only one of these and you have got a little work to do if you are going to play both games at the same time. I'm going to click yes though because I'm probably going to be focusing on Enderal for quite some time. Now I'm not going to go into great detail as to setting up and using the Mod Organizer tool. If you are not familiar with it, I have done an entire series devoted to Mod Organizer on Skyrim and I highly recommend you go off and watch that series. Mod Organizer does have a lot of very cool features and it's well worth knowing what you can and cannot do. I will point out a few things that you probably need to do. First thing, of course, is to set up up the login for Nexus. I would also recommend you go along to the general tab, open up advanced by selecting this box and change the download directory. Now my download directory for Skyrim was on a completely different hard drive anyway. If yours is actually in your original Skyrim, I would set this to be the same. So basically you would be removing this so that it pointed to Mod Organizer Downloads. As I've said, I always have my downloads set somewhere else. Specifically, I think it is Mod Organizer Skyrim Downloads. There it is. I'm going to set it to the same place as my Skyrim Mods Download. This is probably something you should do. That way, both versions of Mod Organizer now download to the same place. This means anything I've downloaded for Skyrim, I now have access to in my downloads. And likewise, anything I download for Enderall, I can use from Skyrim. This is important because if I now download with Manager on one of the latest mods, it will open up the Enderall Mod Organizer. And if I was trying to get this mod onto my original Skyrim, I, I'd find it a little difficult. At least this way, I've now downloaded it. I can close this, go back to my original Skyrim's Mod Organizer, and I will have access to that mod in the download tabs. So I now have Enderall installed, a completely fresh installation and a completely fresh installation of Mod Organizer. From now on, it should all be pretty familiar to anyone who's used Mod Organizer before, but there are one or two things you still need to do. So go along to your Mod Organizer installation and run the executable. Your profile is default. I'm actually going to start by renaming that profile to vanilla and after a dash enderall. This is my vanilla profile and you can see the vanilla profile only has two ESMs and has some archives that are new for enderall. You will probably also notice SKSE is already installed, even though this was a fresh installation of Skyrim. Enderal comes with the latest version of SKSE. Now, ordinarily, if you're running Enderal the ordinary way, you would run it from the launcher, but you don't actually have to do that from Mod Organizer. You can just run SKSE and it will run Enderal perfectly well. There is one thing I do recommend you look out for though, and that is your INI files. 
Now, because of the way I installed this, because it was a fresh version of Skyrim and I installed Enderol first, Enderol changed my INI files. And when I look at the INI files for my new profile, my vanilla Enderol profile, I can see some changes that I happen to know come from the launcher, from the Enderol launcher. And these are important. However, if you installed Mod Organizer before you installed Enderol or you did something like copy your Skyrim folder across rather than downloading a fresh one, the INI files may not be correct for the profile in question. So you should check this. Go along to the profile and open up the INI editor for that profile. Then go along to the Enderol launcher and run that. If you go to settings, others, and then Skyrim Ini, you'll be able to see the settings that Enderol wants. It's probably relatively obvious if you've not got it right. Uh, I know this is different to my original Ini file setup. I only had Ugrids to load, I believe, and maybe language English. So, check that these are the same. If you've got any doubt whatsoever, just copy this across into your Skyrim Ini. The same with the Skyrim Prefs .ini. Just make sure they are the same. If you do make any changes, don't forget to hit save before you close and you should be fine. This profile now has the Ini changes required for Enderal. As long as you've got those INI files correctly set up, you should be ready to continue using Mod Organizer as you are used to, the usual sort of thing. Start a whole new Enderol profile, an Enderol modded profile. You're probably going to want local save games. I think I do. And, oh, do you want to delete this? No, cancel. And automatic archive invalidation. Obviously, I'm going to be adding mods. I'm going to want those. Close that and switch to my new profile. Make sure everything is set up. And I can now go along and start finding mods to install. I'm going to install Immersive HUD. And, of course, select it. If I look at my plugins now, there you go. If I run Get In Game, the mod should be there. And there we are, no compass, that's a good sign. Check the MCM, because Enderol comes with Sky UI and MCM already pre-installed. And there we have Immersive HUD. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. I now have Skyrim Mod Organizer set up to mod my Enderol installation, and I still have Skyrim installed with Mod Organizer set up for the various profiles for that game. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use a single installation of Skyrim and a single installation of Mod Organizer to run both Skyrim and Enderol using the profile feature in Mod Organizer. It is a little more complicated, but it does work just fine. And once you've got it set up, it does have the advantage of being a single installation and you just flick quickly between the profiles to play whichever game you want. You are more than welcome to join me for that video if it is of interest to you, and I look forward to seeing you there. And until then, remember as always, have fun.